Welcome to the info stream bringing you the latest news from around the world. Out there, Voyager 2 continues its solitary journey, billions of miles from home, drifting through the vast, silent darkness. It is a tiny spark of human ingenuity, pressing onward where no other craft has gone before. Launched nearly half a century ago, it's our most distant active explorer, venturing into the unknown between the stars. Its journey began with a thunderous launch, but now it glides silently, far beyond the reach of any human hand. It carries the golden record, a message in a bottle for the cosmos, filled with the sounds and images of Earth. But its real legacy is what it continues to discover, sending back knowledge that reshapes our understanding of the universe. For decades we've pieced together a map of our cosmic neighborhood from its faint signals, each one a whisper from the edge of the solar system, decoded by patient scientists on Earth. Voyager 2 revealed the swirling atmospheres of gas giants, the mysterious icy moons, and the invisible boundaries of our sun's influence. Its cameras and sensors captured wonders we had only dreamed of. Its greatest journey began after leaving the last planet behind, venturing toward the edge of interstellar space, where the sun's light grows faint and the unknown awaits. This region, once only imagined, is now being directly sampled by Voyager's aging but still capable instruments, measuring cosmic rays and magnetic fields never before touched by human technology. Every data packet is a precious gift, expanding our understanding of the universe, each transmission a fragile thread connecting us to the farthest reaches of space. The probe's endurance is a testament to human ambition and curiosity, surviving cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures, and the relentless passage of time. Now, it has sent back a message that could redefine our place in the cosmos, a signal that challenges what we thought we knew about the universe. Voyager 2 is more than a machine, it's a symbol of our drive to explore, a silent ambassador carrying humanity's dreams into the endless night. As it pushes deeper into the interstellar medium, it carries the hopes of a species always seeking what lies beyond, inspiring future generations to look up and wonder. Its latest whisper may be its most profound yet, a reminder that even in the vast loneliness of space discovery never truly ends. We once imagined the edge of our solar system, the heliopause, as a solid protective boundary. Voyager 2's latest data has shattered that image. In early 2025, as it crossed the outer heliosheath, it detected massive tunnels of interstellar material penetrating deep into our heliosphere. Our cosmic shoreline is not a wall, but a porous, shifting membrane. Interstellar and solar particles mingle in a complex dance, making the boundary a dynamic region of transition. This discovery forces us to rethink how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. The interstellar medium isn't just outside, it's been seeping in all along. Our solar system is an active participant in the Milky Way, not an isolated island. The weather of interstellar space can directly influence conditions here at home. Voyager 2's revelation is a powerful reminder. Exploration is the antidote to assumption. The universe is always ready to surprise us. To truly grasp the significance of this remarkable discovery, we must look back and remember Voyager 2's incredible journey through the vastness of space. Launched in 1977, Voyager 2 took advantage of a rare planetary alignment, a once in 176 years opportunity to embark on what became known as the Grand Tour of the Outer Solar System. Using the gravity of each planet as a slingshot, it visited Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune still the only spacecraft ever to reach the mysterious ice giants. Voyager 2 revealed Uranus's bizarre tilted magnetic field, a discovery that challenged scientists' understanding of planetary magnetism. It also captured Neptune's deep blue storms, including the famous Great Dark Spot, showing us weather systems unlike any seen on Earth. Through its lens we witnessed the astonishing diversity of our solar system's planets and moons, each world more unique than the last. After its historic Neptune flyby, Voyager 2's mission shifted. Now it would study the outer limits of the heliosphere, the bubble of solar wind that surrounds our solar system, and begin sampling the mysteries of interstellar space. Its scientific instruments, powered by a long-lasting radioisotope generator, have operated for nearly five decades, defying the harsh conditions of deep space. Data is painstakingly sent back to Earth via the Deep Space Network, with each bit of information a hard-won prize from billions of kilometers away. Voyager 2 is a true pioneer, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and venturing farther than any probe before it. 
Its legacy is not just in breathtaking images, but in the fundamental questions it continues to answer about our place in the universe. The foresight and ingenuity of its creators ensured that Voyager's greatest discoveries would come long after it left the planets behind, inspiring generations of scientists and dreamers. Even now, as it moves ever deeper into interstellar space, Voyager 2's journey continues to redefine our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. In early 2025, scientists noticed something strange in Voyager 2's data. Though deep in interstellar space, it detected bursts of lower energy particles from the Sun, unexpected in this region. Analysis revealed Voyager was passing through vast magnetic tunnels connecting the interstellar medium to the outer heliosheath. These tunnels, hundreds of millions of miles wide, act as two-way conduits for cosmic and solar particles. The discovery fundamentally changes our model of the heliosphere. It's less a sealed bubble, more a semi-permeable membrane with organized channels. The sun's and galaxies' magnetic fields create pathways for direct exchange. If these tunnels are permanent, our solar system is far more open to the galaxy than we thought. This could explain cosmic dust and ray anomalies, and suggests distant galactic events can directly impact our system. Voyager 2 has given us a new map, one with doors and windows to the cosmos. For decades we pictured the heliosphere as a comet-shaped bubble, a vast protective shield that envelops our solar system and guards us from the relentless bombardment of galactic cosmic rays. This image of a sturdy, impenetrable barrier has shaped our understanding of how our solar neighborhood interacts with the rest of the galaxy. But Voyager 2's groundbreaking discovery forces us to rethink everything. Now, we must see the heliosphere not as a solid shield, but as a sieve, full of holes and passageways. These magnetic tunnels mean our heliosphere acts as a porous filter, with organized openings that allow certain particles to pass through while blocking others. Instead of simply deflecting most cosmic rays, the boundary may actually channel and funnel them into the solar system, guiding their paths in ways we never imagined. The protection it offers is dynamic and uneven, with shifting vulnerabilities and weak spots we never knew existed, making our solar system more exposed than we thought. This new model helps explain long-standing mysteries like the Ibex Ribbon, a glowing map that reveals where these cosmic conduits are most concentrated and active. Voyager 2's data provides the crucial ground truth confirming what other missions have only glimpsed from afar and giving us a clearer picture of our cosmic environment. Science progresses by building models, testing them, and then revising or even overturning them when new data arrives, pushing our understanding forward. Sometimes the data is so revolutionary and unexpected that we must start from scratch, discarding old ideas to make way for new ones. Voyager 2 has handed us one of those rare transformative moments in science, changing our view of the solar system forever. The heliosphere is not a static shell, but a living, breathing entity constantly shifting and intimately connected to the wider galaxy beyond. We are part of a much larger, more interconnected cosmic ecosystem, where every change ripples across vast distances. Our home is not as isolated or protected as we once believed. Instead, we are woven into the fabric of the universe, exposed to its wonders and its dangers alike. The porous heliosphere has direct consequences for space exploration's biggest challenge, cosmic radiation. Galactic cosmic rays, atomic nuclei accelerated to near light speed, can damage spacecraft and human DNA. The old shield model suggested uniform GCR levels, but the new SIV model reveals possible rivers of high-intensity radiation. Astronauts' exposure on missions to Mars could depend on their position relative to these conduits. Mission planning may require real-time space weather forecasts to avoid high-risk zones. Spacecraft will need shielding for both baseline and sudden radiation spikes. The porous frontier complicates deep space travel, but also offers scientific opportunity. Mapping these tunnels could let us sample the interstellar medium more directly. The leaky boundary is both a danger and a chance to learn more about our galactic neighborhood. It's a new dynamic feature of our cosmic landscape. Are these interstellar tunnels permanent, or do they shift with the sun's cycles? The heliosphere breathes with the sun's activity, expanding and contracting over its 11-year cycle. It's likely these tunnels are dynamic, changing in size and location as solar and interstellar conditions evolve, this could even influence Earth's climate as cosmic ray flow may affect cloud formation. Voyager 2's discovery provides a mechanism for such links, though more data is needed. Its twin, Voyager 1, has also detected boundary complexities. 
future missions like the proposed interstellar probe will be essential to map these tunnels in three dimensions. Scientists are re-examining old data, searching for hidden evidence of these structures. Long-term missions grow more valuable as our understanding evolves. The story of the heliosphere is being rewritten, with more surprises ahead. The porous, dynamic boundary of our solar system has profound implications for exploration. For robotic probes, the variable radiation environment is both a hazard and a potential slingshot opportunity. Human missions to Mars and beyond must treat interplanetary radiation as weather to be forecasted. We may need a solar system weather service to map cosmic ray streams in real time. Astronauts might shelter during high radiation periods, adding complexity to already risky missions. This discovery also reshapes our search for life. Heliospheres around other stars may be just as porous. Truly habitable worlds may need more than a star's bubble. Strong magnetic fields and thick atmospheres are crucial. We need new probes, better propulsion, and advanced shielding to meet these challenges. Voyager 2's discovery is a starting point, opening new doors for the next century of exploration. The universe is not waiting to be conquered, but to be understood. Voyager 2's discovery is a story of connection. Our solar system is not an isolated island but part of a dynamic archipelago linked to the galaxy by invisible currents. The probe's whispers reveal our home's boundary is a series of open doors, not a wall. We are not just in the universe, the universe is in us, its particles flowing through our space. Voyager 2's mission was to look, and in looking it found something profound. Its data reshapes our understanding of our solar system's architecture and its relationship with the galaxy. The greatest discoveries are often the ones we weren't seeking. Voyager 2's legacy is a reminder, we are at the beginning of our cosmic journey. Its signals will one day cease, but the knowledge will endure, altering our perspective forever. As we look up we must ask, if our boundaries are so open, what else about our place in the universe remains to be discovered?